Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to take you along in my pregnancy nesting <laughs> because now that I'm 30 weeks pregnant, I have definitely been getting this urge. Honestly, if I'm being real, I have had the urge to nest and get everything ready for Nova's arrival for quite a long time. Honestly, as soon as we found out that we were having her, we were like ready to do the nursery and everything. So what I'm going to do today is kind of just start with decluttering things out of breath. <laughs> I really just want to make sure that this house and our environment is just like ready to welcome a baby in. And when I look around sometimes I'm like, we have too much stuff. There's just so much clutter. There are so many things in the, like, the closets and in the drawers and stuff that just don't need to be there. And we have to make room for baby things and we have to make room for her things. And now we're gonna have like a whole other living being in the house that was is gonna take up space. I also really wanted to do this um, uh, before we have our baby shower which is coming up here really soon because I know I definitely will receive some things from the baby shower and I want to be able to just bring it in put it in its place and not feel overwhelmed by that hanging over my head as well so I think the first room that we're gonna do to get started is the bathroom that is actually attached to Nova's nursery that is the bathroom that I usually use myself but it's going to basically be the storage space and the place where we're gonna give baths for Nova so I wanted to get started on that one and then we have a few other rooms in the house Okay, so this is the bathroom. You guys have probably seen it. We've taken many uh, pee tests in here, many pregnancy tests in here. Um, but as you can tell, it is so cluttered and there's just a lot like going on that just doesn't need to be going on, honestly. And so I really, oh, Caleb, look, it's our pregnancy test. Oh. Love it. <laughs> Yeah, I've been keeping them because That's a good I'm just gonna go through all of this, clear out stuff, and make space for baby things like shampoo and everything. Okay, so my plan is to basically just take everything out and then I can put in what is actually needed and throw away or whatever, get rid of the things that I don't. So, wish me luck. <laughs> to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the drawers and stuff, already started getting rid of some things. And I won't lie to you, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> I think part of my problem is that I get gifted a lot of like lotions and stuff like that um, from preschool kids. And so I've accumulated like a pretty big collection of that sort of thing. So I have to kind of figure out how I'm gonna deal with that. But I've already gotten rid of a bunch, so I'm just gonna keep going through anything that's like expired or that is like mostly empty or that I haven't used in forever. I'm just gonna get get rid of. How's it going over here? <laughs> Caleb's working yeah, on this side. I'm having a hard time getting rid of things. Yeah, <laughs> it is hard. There's a lot of random stuff and there's a lot of stuff like this I know you can get rid of. Oh, Ayla. Too we much. Too much stuff. Too much. We don't take enough baths. <laughs> Okay, we realized that we're going about this kind of wrong. We need some like bins and like boxes and like organizing tools. So we're gonna run to the dollar store and get a few like things that we can do this properly. Okay, let's get back to it. it all figured out so let me show you so first of all it looks way less cluttered in here I cleared off as much as I could so let's start with in here I just used some of my containers to basically keep all of the things separate so that I kind of know where each thing goes these are some things for Nova that will probably just go in the actual bath when she comes um, some extra stuff a lot of that's like things I don't use super frequently but I need to have 
And then this top drawer is like my most used drawer. So it has the things I use on a daily basis, like facial stuff, deodorant, um, all of the things that I use like really frequently. And then this drawer is going to be partly baby. I don't have a lot for her yet uh, because there's a lot that will come, I think, from the baby shower and all of that. But I also just have some of my other stuff that I just don't know what to do with exactly. So we might have to figure this out again once she gets here. If she ends up having more stuff than I thought. But there we go. We did the bathroom. That's awesome. Okay, so today I'm going to get started on the closet in Nova's room. And hopefully I'll get to this kitchen uh, today as well. That's kind of the main places that I think we need to work on this decluttering. Oh, and this hallway, which we have honestly said we're gonna do for months and we keep not doing it. Do you ever just hold on to stuff because you just don't know what to do with it? Like you just genuinely have no plan for it so you just never do anything with it? Because that's what's happening. So this is baby girl's closet. I do have some things already kind of organized. We brought up this bookshelf from downstairs that's gonna go in here, um, but there's just like stuff and we still have our towels up here because we don't have a linen closet. So I definitely want to make sure that this space can be used for like her storage, for like diaper boxes and stuff. Um, I did already take a bunch of stuff out of this thing and put all of her blankets and some of these beautiful blankets were from you guys. Um, and this is what ended up happening with the stuff that was in it before. A bunch of my bras, excuse that. Uh, so I have to figure out what to do with that. And then unfortunately there is another side, <laughs> which is a bunch more stuff. And this side is honestly the one that I'm most dreading because I just don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna end up just donating um, most of the clothes here and then what I really want to keep I'll just transfer over to our closet It ended up like this because we had too many clothes and couldn't fit them all in our closet But since we've done some decluttering and some donating, I think we'll have some more space. So that's the plan Caleb to go through because I don't want to donate anything that he wants to keep. So here is my wedding dress. This is the veil that I wore and then yeah my wedding dress. I had thought about selling it at one point um, because it really just is in my closet and I feel like it would be a good dress for someone else to use. I thought about doing that but then I just couldn't bring myself to like actually do it. But now that it's been five and a half years. I don't know what to do with it. Let me know in the comments below. Did you keep your wedding dress um, or did you sell it? Did you give it to somebody? What did you do with it? Let me know. Okay, so I've got a donate pile and I've got a keep pile and someone's cozy. <laughs> so this trunk just has like a bunch of stuff that we don't have storage for. And then in here so far we just have like our pack and play and then a big giant stuffy. I've done what I can in the nursery for now, so I'm gonna move on to the kitchen. A few nights ago, I actually got this like really big urge to start organizing things, so I have started. We were watching TV and then I just like paused the TV, got up and went to the kitchen and started. And Caleb is a smart man and he joined me right away. So I'll show you what I've done so far and then I'll get started on some of the other cupboards. I just kind of reorganized this cupboard because I wanted to put all of our medications and stuff up higher. They used to be down there and of course that is not very baby proof. So we got that done, uh, decluttered our teas and got rid of expired ones. And just kind of went through everything that we didn't need anymore. We also worked on this drawer which was such a mess before um, and we got some containers to just keep things kind of all to put together. And then we got this one to just add in the other bits for. So there we go. So I think first I'm going to tackle under the sink. It has all the cleaners and stuff and I don't think that we have another place to put them so they're gonna stay down here. Uh, but we'll just make sure to have like a baby lock uh, on the cabinet doors. Sing for me darling, it's been quiet for a day now. Can't bear the silence inside my own head. I 
keep on hoping somehow we can make this all right Just keep on trying Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I've given in to all my demons lately You know Might be easier just to let it go Cut the cable short This is my progress. I definitely wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is better than it was before, and that's a win in my book. Oh, but I am super tired realizing doing this, uh, being pregnant, is a little bit more difficult than not pregnant. <laughs> but I'm excited to have gotten some things done today, and I know that I probably wouldn't have gotten as much done if I didn't film this video, so thank you guys for watching and for encouraging me to get things done around the house. Um, I'm really excited for Nova to come. I just can't wait. And we're basically just counting down the weeks now, so there is a lot more to be done in the house and a lot more decluttering and a lot more organizing to do, um, but I still have 10 weeks, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe you got a little bit motivated from watching me do some of these things maybe you just got tired whatever the case is give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video bye